Uh, hi everybody, Physics Ninja here. Uh, a few months ago, a friend of mine shared this video uh, with me entitled, A Demo of Order and Chaos. It was basically this pendulum wave machine. And while the title of the video is a misnomer, there really is nothing chaotic about it, the video is really, really well done and I'll link the description down below. Uh, I wanted to build my own uh, pendulum wave, so let's go see what we did and I'll explain to you the physics behind it. All right, let's get started started out by uh, ordering some billiard balls from Amazon, got the cheapest ones I could find. Uh, these are good enough for the project. I'm going to have to drill these uh, and connect some hooks to them, so no need to get too fancy with these. Uh, got the tools out and I went to Home Depot and purchased a couple 2x4s that I'm going to use to build a structure and that's going to uh, hold all of these pendulum uh, together. So let's go see on how we built the structure and uh, let's see it in action. Uh, as with many of the things that I work on, my enthusiasm at the beginning of this project was just sky high, but then it really decays uh, exponentially with time because I realize how much work it's actually going to be to get this thing to work properly. <laughs> This project was no different. It's been sitting in my basement now for a couple months and it was just time to get it done. In order to connect them up here, what I did was I just simply wrapped this fishing line around the hook and then I would simply wrap the fishing line around the hook several times in order to adjust the length of the rope. If I wanted to make it shorter, I would simply add a turn. If I wanted to make it a little bit longer, I would simply remove a turn. And every time I would add or remove a turn, I could measure the period of oscillation and then adjust it accordingly. Now it's not perfect because this here has a finite size. And it turns out that in order for this uh, pendulum wave machine to be really, really precise, I would need some more fine tuning here. This is adjusting it uh, using the hook method over here. It doesn't quite give me enough precision. You need to go kind of sub millimeter precision in order to have all of these pendula uh, oscillate at the appropriate rate. All right, so this is the linear case here. Let's start them off with a good old hockey stick. Give them all some initial amplitude, which is approximately the same. Remove the stick and let's watch the system evolve with time. What you see at the beginning here is kind of a long wavelength that starts off with. Um, all the way on the left-hand side, the yellow ball, this one here has the longest string, and this one there will have the longest period. It takes the most amount of time for it to complete a single cycle. Whereas the one all the way at the end here, ball number 15 on the right hand side, this one has the shortest length and it takes the least amount of time. Now you can start seeing kind of what looks to be a wave-like motion propagating along these billiard balls. But again, they are not connected in any way. That's just some phase that's progressing between them and they have different phases because of uh, the different periods of oscillation of each one because the length is different and that's it. There's nothing more complicated than that. Now, when the length is varying linearly across from ball number one all the way to 15, um, 
it's going to take a very, very long time for them to become back in phase, back to their initial condition. And I just don't want to wait that long. So having a linear variation from ball one all the way to 15, it's just going to take too long for them to get back into phase. But you can see now that the wavelength is getting shorter and shorter with time. Um, and if I would let this kind of sit here for several, several minutes, you might eventually get back in phase, but we're going to speed things up a little bit. We're going to hit the textbook and see what's going on here. But nonetheless, it's kind of a nice pattern. Uh, quite a satisfying video just to watch. All right, the goal of this pendulum wave is that you start at some initial condition, you let them go, and then after a certain number of oscillations, they come back and they're perfectly ordered once again. Now, in order to accomplish this, what you have to do is you have to adjust the length of each one of these pendulum. Um, and again, the period depends on the length. The longer the string length, the longer it takes for it to do one cycle. So what I did in order to kind of uh, start with this, I started with pendulum 15. And I timed how long it would take to do 60 oscillations for pendulum 15. And it took 98 seconds for it to do that many oscillations. So let me go ahead and start filling out this table. So I had 60 oscillations, took 98 seconds. Now what I want is that that 98 seconds, that all of these different pendulum, that they all come back to their starting point. However, I don't want them all to do 60 oscillations. For example, I want number 14. It's going to take a little bit more time, but eventually it's going to come back here. After 98 seconds, what I was looking for is I want it to do one fewer oscillation. For pendulum number 13, I want it, it's going to go a little bit slower than 14, but I know that after a total time of 98 seconds, I want it to come all the way back. So I want it to do a total number of 58 cycles, 58 swings back and forth. And I continue this process, and I had to adjust the length of each one time it, adjust the length and so forth, so that you get this 98 seconds at the end of the day for each one of these pendulum. Uh, for number two, for example, this one, I only wanted it to do 47 oscillations. And those 47 oscillations take 98 seconds. And lastly, the last one was 46 oscillations. Um, again, 98 seconds. Uh, so you can see that as the length gets longer, as I go toward pendulum one, I am doing a fewer number of cycles in the same amount of time. So the period is getting longer. And I'm going to control this so that hopefully after 98 seconds after releasing them, they all come back to the starting point. All right, let's go see how this works. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to use this board here and we're going to give them some initial angle. And then we're going to watch the system evolve in time. All right, let's look at the progression of this uh, pendulum wave as a function of time. You can see at the beginning of the motion, you can see this nice wave progressing here. And as time goes on, the wavelength will get shorter. And that's because this one here is oscillating a lot faster than this one. Have a look at the pattern here. Really is remarkable. Wavelength's getting a lot shorter now. You'll eventually see that every second one is going to be out of phase. We're not quite there yet. And if you look at every second one, it looks like there are actually two waves now that are kind of independent from each other. And see now, every second pendulum is out of phase with the other one. And now it's eventually going to go back to its original starting position. Now it's not quite perfect because the length of each one is not quite perfect, but it's pretty close.
there you have it, folks. That was my attempt at making a pendulum wave machine. Uh, certainly not as good as the other videos you'll probably find on YouTube, but that is life. Hey, I don't mind getting a B on this project. I learned actually quite a bit from it. And if I would have had to do it again, I would probably change a few things. Number one, I would make the structure a lot sturdier than what I had built. I noticed that when I started them up that I can actually see the structure wobble a little bit and more so on the short side than the long side. So that could introduce some error. Now, in addition, I would probably not use those hooks and wrap that fishing line around the hook because I found that it didn't give me enough fine tuning to adjust the length of each one. Again, you could probably spend another 10 hours on this and make it incrementally better, but I have things to do. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.